Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to knit this open work zigzag lace scarf. I knit this scarf up with just a single skein of the Lion Brand Mandala yarn and I've provided the details in the description field. This is not a paid promotion, but I really enjoy this yarn because with one skein, you can pretty much knit up the whole scarf and I've provided the dimensions of the scarf in the description field as well. Um, the pattern itself is not too bad, but I would put it at an um, intermediate level just because there's a few things in there which I'll show you in just a minute um, that might be a little bit challenging for someone who's just started knitting or even if somebody's an advanced beginner um, it might be a little bit challenging I'm not saying you can't do it but um, you can you can certainly try it but it might it might just feel a little difficult at the start but it's it's really really not not that bad and as you can see it provides a fabric that lays flat it curls up a little bit at the edges which you can um, straighten out by blocking this is the right side this is the wrong side which actually doesn't look bad at all and this this zigzag look that it forms it's almost like a lattice or a herringbone type zigzag just because it's such a such a short zigzag I provided all the details in the description field as well as I'll put the rows up here um, on the video itself now the pattern uh, is knit on a multiple of four stitches plus five so I'm gonna cast on 17 stitches and I would say cast on the stitches a little on the looser side. I'm using the long tail cast on. You can use any cast on of your choice. And let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So that's a multiple of four. Four times three is 12 plus five. So as long as your stitch count obeys that rule, um, this pattern will work. So the pattern is an eight row repeat and this and this is the reason why I've put this at an intermediate level is because the second the alternate rows are not just a regular pearl like you would normally have with some of the easier um, lace patterns. So this is a happening scarf as I like to call it a happening scarf pattern because it's going to have something to do on you're going to have something to do on every single row. Row one, you start off with knitting the first four stitches, just a regular knit. So one, two, three and four and then starts the pattern repeat which is a knit two together a yarn over and then regular knit two so here we go knit two together so you can take your right needle insert it in the front loops of both stitches on the left needle the first two stitches pull the yarn through drop both stitches off i've provided a slower demonstration of knit two together um a video link to that in the description field all right, so knit two together, then yarn over. So you're just gonna bring the yarn to the front. That's gonna be your yarn over because the next stitch is a knit stitch, right? So the yarn just needs to come in the front and then it's a knit two. So knit one and knit two. And that is your pattern repeat all the way to the last stitch. So let's see that a couple more times. Knit two together, yarn over, and then knit two. Knit two. And one more time. Knit two together. Yarn over. Knit one. And knit two. And you'll do that all the way to the last stitch. And the last stitch is just a knit one. Oop. Got a little ahead of myself there. Last stitch is just a knit one. And that's the end of row one. And that's the right side of the work. You're going to turn your work and row two. The first two stitches are just a knit one and a purl one. And then start your pattern repeat. The pattern repeat is purl two, yarn over, purl two together. So here we go. Purl one, purl two, yarn over. Now, because your next stitch is a purl two together and your yarn is in the front, just because your previous stitch was a purl, to do a yarn over, you're going to bring the yarn all the way around like so, and then purl two together, all right? And that's the pattern repeat. So let's see that a couple more times. Purl one, purl two, yarn over, all the way over in this case, and then purl two together. Oop. And one more time, purl one, purl two, yarn over, Purl two together. You're gonna to keep doing this until you get to the last three stitches. The last three stitches are purl two, knit one. So just purl two, regular purl two, and then knit 
one. And that's the end of row two. Row three, the start is a knit two, just a regular knit two and a knit two together. So again, insert into the first two loops and knit the two stitches together. And then yarn over, knit two together, knit two, knit two together. That's your repeat for the rest of the row. So here we go. Now, this time we're doing a yarn over before a knit stitch. So the yarn just comes to the front and then knit one, knit two, and knit two together. And that's the pattern repeat. So we'll see that a couple more times. Yarn over, knit one, knit two, knit two together and yarn over knit one knit two knit two together you're going to keep repeating this all the way down to the last stitch now for the last stitch you're going to do a yarn over and then a knit one do not forget that yarn over so yarn over and knit one okay and that's the end of row three and turn your work row four you start off with a knit to one, purl one. So just a regular knit to one and a purl one. And then the pattern repeat is yarn over, purl two together, purl two. So you're starting to see the, 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 the pattern here that these first four rows, we're essentially doing knit two togethers on the, the right side of the work and purl two togethers on the wrong side of the work. And they're just scrambled up a little bit, right? So knit one, purl one, and now let's start the pattern repeat. So yarn over, in this case, all the way over, and then purl two together. So insert into the front two loops, purl them together, and purl one, purl two. We'll see that a couple more times. Yarn over, purl two together, and purl one, purl two. And one more time, and over, pull two together, pull one, pull two. And you keep doing that till you get to the last three stitches. Now the last three stitches, you're gonna do a yarn over, pull two together, and a knit one. So yarn over, pull two together, and knit one. And that's the end of row four. You turn your work. Row five, you start off with a knit three. So just regular knit the first three stitches. And then starts the pattern repeat, which is a yarn over an SKP and then knit two stitches. So because our next stitch is an SKP, the yarn over again just means you're gonna bring your yarn just to the front. You don't have to do the whole loop around again. Now SKP. You're going to slip the next stitch knit twice. So insert as if to knit, pull the yarn over, knit the next stitch. Now your yarn is in the front here. This is your yarn over. It's going to create that stitch, right? It's going to create that yarn over. So you slipped, you did the yarn over, slip, knit, and now you're going to pass that slip stitch over. So insert your left needle into that second stitch from the top and bring it over this one the first stitch. And I've provided this, um, a link to the slower demonstration of this in the, in the description field as well, if you wanna explore that. And you can see now it's provided a left leaning decrease. All right, so yarn over SKP and then knit two, just a regular knit two. That's your pattern repeat for this row. So let's see that a couple more times. Yarn over S K and P. And remember, you, you wanna make sure you're picking up the stitch that you slipped, not your yarn over stitch. So the second one, that's the one you're passing over. All right, and then knit one, knit two, and one more time, yarn over, S, K, P, and then knit one, knit two. You're gonna keep doing that till you get to the last two stitches. The last two stitches, are just a regular knit two. Mm -hmm. And you turn your work, that was the end of row five. Row six, you start off with a knit one and purl two. So just a regular purl two. 
And now you're going to do the purl two together through the back loop. So it's just like purling two together, but instead of putting your needle through the front loops, you're going to be putting your needle through the back loops of the next two stitches. So you can turn your work this way. You take your right needle, insert it into the bottom back loop first, and then the second back loop at the top, like so. And your needle is going to come to the front like that, and you're going to purl them together, drop both stitches. All right, then the repeat goes yarn over and purl two. So again, because your next stitch is a purl, your yarn over is gonna go all the way around and then purl two. All right, we'll see that a couple more times. Now, at the end of the, the purl two, your yarn is in the front, which is where you want it to be. We're gonna purl two together through the back loop. So flip your work, take your right needle, insert it through those two back loops, you're going to bring your needle to the front here and pull them, drop both stitches off, okay? And then yarn over and purl two. And one more time, purling through that back loop. Insert. You can actually even just kind of use your finger to twist this around so that you can insert it a little bit easily like this and then purl and yarn over. Pull one, pull two. You can keep doing that till you get to the last two stitches. The last two stitches are purl one, knit one. So here we go, purl one and knit one. And that's the end of row six. We turn our work. So row seven, it starts with a knit one, yarn over and an SKP. So we've seen that before, slip, knit, pass the slip stitch over and then start your pattern repeat. And your pattern repeat is knit two, yarn over SKP, just a regular knit two. So here we go. Knit one, knit two, yarn over S, K, and P, pass it over. Let's see that a couple more times. Knit one, knit two, yarn over S, K, and P. And one last time. Knit one, knit two, yarn over, S, K, P. And you're going to keep doing that till you get to the last two stitches. The last two stitches are just a regular knit. And that is the end of row seven. We are now turning our work for the last row, row eight. It starts off with a knit one and a purl two together through the back loop. So I'm gonna bring my yarn to the front to purl and I'm gonna insert it through the back loop again. And let me do it this way. I'm gonna twist these two stitches a little bit here and then I'm gonna insert through the back loops like so. And this is why it helps if you if you are a little bit, uh, if you're a knitter on the looser side so that it'll be easier to, to find those back loops and purl through them. All right, so knit one, Purl two together through the back loop. And now starts the pattern repeat, which is a yarn over, purl two, purl two together through the back loop. All right? Now, because your next two stitches are purl, your yarn over is gonna be all the way around. And then purl two, just a regular purl two. And then the evil purl two together, as I call it, which is purl two together through the back loop. Actually, it's not that evil. It's not so bad. But again, if you're someone who knits really tight, um, on the tighter side for this pattern, you might want to just loosen it up just a little bit to help make those pull two togethers um, through the back loops a little bit easier. Here we go. So let's do that pattern repeat a couple more times. Yarn over, purl one, purl two, and then purl two together through the back loops. Like so, insert through the back loops, bring the needle to the front, and pull two together. One more time. Yarn over, purl one, Pull two and pull two together through the back loops and drop the both stitches. You're going to keep doing that till you get to the last two stitches. The last two stitches, it's a yarn over, purl one, knit one. So again, do not forget that yarn over. And because the next stitch is a purl, yarn over all the way around, purl one, knit one. And that's it. Phew, eight rows. 
It seems like a lot, but once you get into the rhythm of the things, especially if you're knitting a scarf, <clears throat> excuse me, or a, a blanket, it's gonna it's gonna go by really fast and pretty soon you'll have the pattern memorized. But these are the eight rows. You're gonna keep repeating these eight rows all the way to the end, at which you're at which point you're just gonna do a regular bind off or any bind off of your choice. So I do hope you give this one a try. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them for me in the comments field. And um, I will see you all again on another one of my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like and share the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and Happy knitting!